All right, so now I want to show you guys how to take screenshots on your computer. So this way you can embed pictures of what's actually on your computer into documents, put them on a web page, put them on Canvas so kids can see them, whatever it is you need to use them for. It's actually very, very simple. So what you need is simply to pull up whatever it is you want to take a, a screenshot of. So I'm going to pull up my presentation, and now we want to take a screenshot. There are three different types of screenshots you can do. There's a screenshot of the entire screen, a partial screenshot, or a screenshot of a bounded window. And to access each type of screenshot, you simply have a different set of keys. So to take a screenshot of the entire screen, so this would be everything that you see here, even the background, you would simply press Command, Shift, and the number 3. Now you heard the camera click, and you see here on my desktop that the screenshot of what is right now on my computer appears in the background. Now sometimes, of course, when you take a screenshot, you don't want everything in the background. You can take simply a partial screenshot and dictate what you want to have um, captured. To take a partial screenshot, you hit Command, Shift, and 4. Now you have this little target that appears. You can click and drag and only take a screenshot of the information you want. So you were able to pick a very specific area. Once again, shows up here on your desktop. Now let's say that you wanted to take a screenshot of an entire window or a, bound, a bounded window and you don't really want to take the time to drag. Once again, it has a specific set of keystrokes. So simply hit Command, Shift, 4, and Spacebar. You'll see that it's all highlighted and you have a picture of a camera. So if you have multiple windows up, you can take a picture of the window that you actually want. When you're ready, click. And now I have screenshots of all the three different um, types of screenshots. So I have my full screenshot, I have my partial screenshot, and I have my bounded window screenshot. And now I can embed them, save them, put them in a Word document, put them in the presentation. I can do whatever I need to do with them um, to make them more accessible to students.